But it is vital that businesses have the support they need to pay their energy bills this winter. Her Majesty's government, His Majesty's Government is determined to grow the economy. We cannot do that if business becomes insolvent thanks to what is tantamount to blackmail by a malevolent state actor. His Majesty's Government announced yesterday that it will be providing a discount on wholesale gas and electricity prices for all non-domestic customers whose current gas and electricity prices have been significantly inflated by global energy prices. This includes all UK businesses and covers the voluntary sector, such as charities, and the public sector, such as schools and hospitals. The scheme will apply to fixed contracts that have been agreed on or after 1 April 2022, as well as to deemed variable and flexible tariffs and contracts. It will be applied to energy usage for six months from 1 October until 31 March next year. The three-month review is taking place to work out who will need support to ensure that support is properly targeted. What is being done at the moment is an immediate response to an extreme crisis to benefit everybody, but not everybody necessarily needs the same level of support. But what we will do in the review is work out who needs the support. And if I can give some early indications, it seems to me that places like care homes are likely to need longer-term support, but that will be covered uh, by the uh, review. I, I recognise the importance of giving support to those who are off-grid, those who are on fuel oil. It's actually particularly uh, an issue in Northern Ireland, of which he has particular uh, experience as a former Secretary of State. What we are looking at is the comparables, because the heating oil price has not risen as much as the gas price, and we need to be fair to all users, um, and we are working on that currently. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And isn't it great to see the Secretary of State in this House rather than standing in the street filming a statement to the public surrounded by boarded-up shops and rubbish. What an unedifying spe spectacle for a man who believes in the preeminence of this here Parliament. But I'm glad he's here because he's got some questions to answer and it's about time that he did so. So how much does he anticipate, estimate, that this scheme will ultimately cost, including, of course, perhaps interest payments? Can he confirm that the likes of Amazon will benefit from this scheme, a scheme that's going to be built on the back of public sector borrowing. And perhaps most importantly, can he explain to energy users in Scotland, energy rich Scotland, where we produce more oil and gas than we can possibly consume, and where our gas generation, our electricity generation is made up from just 14.4% gas, why Westminster has failed us so terribly badly? Yeah. Um, Mr Speaker, what was it P.G. Woodhouse said about it being um, not too difficult to discern the difference between a Scotsman with a grievance and a ray of sunshine, as so often the SNP comes here on Thursday mornings with a grievance, and it's rather like old times, isn't it, Mr Speaker, when I would have an hour uh, on Thursday mornings to discourse with the Scottish nationalists about their general grumpiness, and I see that is one of the constants uh, of British politics. He refers to rubbish in the streets of Westminster, and I would point out to him that as soon as an administration turns from Conservative to Socialist, the rubbish piles up in the streets, as I think it's also been doing uh, with the SNP in Edinburgh. Um, but this, this scheme, this scheme, this scheme, this scheme is fair to taxpayers, will give support across the country, and as I said, we are having a review in three months to ensure that the support goes to those people who need it most. As regards the first point, um, the price of heating oil has not risen by as much as the price of gas, and therefore the aim of government policy is to ensure equivalence, and therefore inevitably the support given for those on heating oil will be a lower actual amount than those uh, connected to the gas grid, but that will give them equivalence. While I appreciate what, he, what it's, his plans may be to, to help them in the next six months, what can he offer them after the end of that six months? Because 345 per cent increase in just electricity costs could put this business under. Mr. Uh, uh, um, Speaker, the Honourable Lady raises the point that I think was concerning MPs across the House of these extraordinarily large uh, rises, and that's why we've brought forward this package. I'm trying to give as much reassurance as I can without preempting the review. As I said, we have done this on a completely broad brush basis because, at the moment, that is the right thing to do. It is needed urgently. However, we do need to examine exactly who ought to benefit in a review and then have that announced in plenty of time for the 1st of April to see what level of support is needed for the longer term.